Hi guys, do you think that life is unfair and that good things happen to everyone else except you? That maybe there's a cap of how many good things can happen in your life and no more because you don't deserve it? Maybe those good things do happen to you, but you don't see them because you don't know how. Because there's a wall of fear in front of your eyes that won't let you see. Let me tell you a story. A few days ago, I looked out my window and I saw a cute little squirrel on my balcony. I went to get him some food and I found this rich medley of unsalted nuts that we had purchased from the store. And I'm talking about first grade mix of pistachios and walnuts and almonds and cashews, you name it. It was like a five star gourmet meal for any squirrel. So I grabbed a handful, opened the window, and I gently tossed the nuts toward the squirrel. And you know what he did? He ran! He was absolutely terrified. He ran as fast and as far away as he could. What if these incredible opportunities are thrown at us every day? And like that squirrel, we don't recognize them. We get scared and run away from the good things that God has prepared for us. Well, it doesn't have to be that way. You are a child of an almighty God, and He doesn't want you to live in fear or anxiety. He wants you to thrive. My prayer today for you is that you don't let fear cripple you anymore. I pray that you don't let fear steal what's rightfully yours. By the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray that those foundations of fear that were built over so many years crumble, that they melt away. That in its place, God builds a fortress of confidence, that He builds a fortress of hope. Philippians chapter 4 verse 8 says, Whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. You see, fear has no place in a life with God. So from this moment forward, I pray that you start seeing this world as overflowing with abundance and that you start recognizing, accepting, embracing, and savoring the good portions that God has prepared for you. All I'm asking for is that you make a promise in your heart and in your mind to live life with the knowledge that you are a child of a living God and that He loves you beyond your wildest imagination. And there are amazing things happening in your life right now, even in places that are scary, that are sad, that are hopeless. So face your fears and enter those dark caves because that's where God's greatest blessings are waiting for you. And the more you dig and the more you stand up in the face of fear, by the authority that God has given you in the name of Jesus Christ, the more you will uncover God's blessings in a life of abundance prepared just for you. In Jesus' name, I pray all this. Amen. I will not allow anyone to tear down the city. Amen. Because this is our city.